Here's the solo from The Wind Cries Mary, and don't forget to speed it down using the settings if you need to. Two things to note from that are that the endings of these phrases and that's really up to your own discretion really. You can you can kind of pick whichever ones you like the most and which, which ones you find easiest and in which order to remember. So you can kind of come up with your own way of playing the solo in that way. I think that's always a good a good approach to take rather than worrying about playing it exactly like Hendrix, which none of us are ever gonna do. Um, now you might have noticed instead of doing the in, uh, doing the bends, I've opted to do this instead of bending, sliding a finger to to substitute that bend. That's just because I find that a bit easier, and you might you might do as well because it's really tricky how fast these bends go by. So what I do is I do a slide, slide, and then little bend for that blues note at the end. So, and uh, the other thing I wanted to discuss quickly is, don't forget uh, the concept that we spoke about with the uh, sliding up to a major third. So we're in the key of we're in C now. We're playing the C chord. So I'm going playing the C, and then I'm sliding from the from the second up to the third hammering on on that D string and that works on all these chords and, it, and you can really uh, have a lot of fun improvising with them. For example, so when it goes from B flat to F you could use these in this way and then just start it here on the F and that's linking into this shape. Or you could choose to go to this F shape, where it would be the same thing, but with a slightly different sound to it, which is really cool. It really opens up your playing. some help for you and I hope you have a lot of fun over Christmas experimenting with that. I'll uh, see you soon.